welcome to Sam's Camping Videos Hot Tips. Today's Hot Tips is a continuation of Hot Tips about how to conserve your resources while boondocking in your travel trailer. Today's Hot Tip is a continuation of how to save electricity while you're boondocking. This specific video will be optimizing the use of your water pump. So let's get to it! Now the first thing you do to minimize the use of your water pump or to optimize its use is not to use it when you, when you don't have to, especially when washing hands. Here are some moist wipes and I've shown them on a previous video about how to conserve the, your wastewater capacity in your travel trailer while boondocking. But here's a good example of not using your water pump to wash your hands. You use one of these to clean your hands with. Now here I'm demonstrating the use of the water pump has been turned on, has a little light, and you can save some amps of your, of your batteries if you have this switch off. Now you don't have a little bit of a drain on your batteries for that little light that comes on when you turn your water pump on. But there's something even more important in play when you keep your water pump off routinely. Others keep it on routinely. And I wouldn't recommend that you do that. And the reason why is worst case you know, scenario, a pipe can burst, a hose can burst in your travel trailer while you're away somewhere. You could be out hiking for hours on end. You could be a hunter and hunting that deer or elk. You could be out on the beach and swimming in the ocean miles away from your campsite where your travel trailer is. A pipe bursts, the water is just rushing out of it thanks to your always turned on water pump and the electricity that it's using. Another way to conserve electricity with low water pump usage is I gave this tip before in an earlier video in this series and that is uh, the use of your toilet in your bathroom in your travel trailer and, and it was a technique that I described in only minimally filling that toilet bowl with water when you had to urinate into it and then when it gets full then turn the water pump on then flush it then repeat the cycle and just have a minimal amount of water put back into it. And at the end of your trip, you may still have some water left in your fresh water tank. A lot of travel trailers, you know, they have conveniently located drain plugs, which will drain that water out of your fresh water tank quite easily. But unfortunately, I don't have one like that and I can't really get to it. So what I've been doing for years since day one of only my trailer is I make sure I have sufficient battery reserves left in my RV batteries so I can use that water pump to drain the remaining water in that fresh water tank down into the waste tanks. So I've got one foot in my bathroom on the pedal for that toilet draining that water down into the black water tank and I've got all the faucets on to drain all that water down into the gray water tanks. So I got all that going on and within 5-10 minutes uh, the fresh water tank has been drained into the gray water tank and the black water tank. And you can do this with peace of mind without overflowing those other tanks if you watch my other video regarding how to conserve the space in your wastewater tanks while you're boondocking. So you should have you know, enough space in there to drain whatever is left in your fresh water tank on the morning or afternoon that you're ready to leave and go home. So do that if you don't have any convenient way to drain your fresh water tank. Next in the series of these hot tips will be using battery operated or rechargeable devices while you're bone docking inside and outside of your trailer. Until then, be safe, have fun, goodbye.